Welcome to part 12 of how to make a Japanese shoji screen. In this part you'll see how I spray finish the shojis. You will see I spray them on a stand which I especially designed and made for the purpose. I call it my finishing rotisserie. It allows me to spray one side of a shoji and then rotate it and spray the other side. This gives me the ability to spray with the main face, the front main faces, the front and back horizontal, which gives a better finish. In order to accomplish this, the shojis have 10 millimeter holes drilled in the top of the top rail and in the bottom of the bottom rail. In this instance, I'm spraying two shojis at once because of the size of the shojis. These shojis were made for a wardrobe. There were four of them. And because they were, weren't as wide as a full-size door, I was able to put two of them on the stand at once. Normally, for a full-size shoji, I'd only be able to spray one at a time. The material I'm using is water-based, it's not harmful, and because this is an open area at the back of my workshop, you'll see that there's a breeze flowing past where I'm spraying, therefore any overspray gets carried away, and I don't have to wear a respirator protect, to protect myself from the material, which as I said is not harmful anyway. The stand is adjustable in length so I can accommodate different sizes of shojis, different ones that are different height, and I can also move it up and up and down so I'm able to adjust it, as in this case for two shorter shojis or narrower shojis, or for one bigger one. I hope you have found this video interesting and informative and I thank you for joining me.